Hi, we got a question from a user the other day. He's been using screenshots from a flight simulator to make aviation themed comics, which we think are pretty cool. And we've been posting them on our Facebook page. Uh, his problem was, uh, as you can see in this picture, he wanted to put Fred Nerd into the cockpit of the biplane. Uh, and he wanted to know how to go about doing that. So we made this little video to show you. The problem here is that you have to have part of that image in front of Fred and another part of it behind him. And to do that, you need to duplicate the image and mask it. And this is basically the same trick you'd use in Photoshop, but of course the tools are all different. So you start by selecting the image and copying it and pasting it. Um, so you can see by the fact that Fred disappeared that the new image has been pasted in front of him. Now we're going to double click on the image and we're going to take this one, this will be the foreground version of the image, and we're going to make a mask of just those parts of it that need to be in front of Fred. And to do that we're going to use the Bezier tool. Um, we're going to put them in the back section of the cockpit here. So we're going to start uh, with a click there. And the cockpit is largely kind of a polygon, except for this section, which is a curve. So we'll make a nice curve there. And then we can go back along the fuselage of the plane. We don't have to get the whole thing because uh, this foreground part of the image is going to be totally aligned to the background. So um, by making this shape, we have made an, a new object that is this image masked to this shape. And when we go back to the comic, you can only see from the selection rectangle that it's there. But when I deselect it, you'll see it's completely um, it's completely aligned still with the original image because we copied and pasted, and that always leaves things in the same place. And when you make a mask on an image, it also doesn't move the object. Uh, just to prove to you that it's there, we'll move it around. And I'm going to undo that. Now we just need to put Fred in it. Fred is already behind it. Uh, because we pasted it in front of him, but we could use the bring to front and send to back commands to, uh, to put him behind it if we had to. And then uh, we just kind of have to scale him down to the right size to fit in the airplane, which is somewhere around there, and then drag him down into the cockpit. And that's all there is to it. Um, you can see if we remove this that Fred is still there. Um, but he's now in front of part of the plane and behind another part.